Okay, let's do the spirit read. See what the topic is today. What are our topics? Okay, first one out is love. Always a good place to be. Love and guidance. Okay. We did have that as one of the card focuses today. So let's see what we have with this. Love, guidance, and focus. I need to find some more room here. Now, if you're guided by love, then, you know, you can't go wrong. Rebirth. Maybe time to rebirth some love. Maybe you kind of let it slide in these trying times. And the guidance is about collaboration, coming together, seeking guidance from, could be many sources. Let's see what else we have with this. Okay, here they are. What else is it going to tell us today about rebirthing love and uh, coming together, collaborating on guidance, how to go forward? Rebirth of love. You know, this is, again, the internal search. The internal search. We have to, uh, again, find it within. This is not something you look for outside. You're lo not looking for somebody else to bring the love to you. You have to be willing to bring it in for yourself, find it within yourself, you know, because the kingdom of God is there. When it comes to uh, guidance, collaboration, you know, it's a good time to do it if you are fearful, okay? If you are fearful, then again, then it's really time to do the search and rebirth love within you rather than um, seeking other external things, okay? Yeah, this is the, you know, what our destiny is, is to be here to to find love, to find the divine is, and the divine is is always found within that love. If you've ever touched the divine is, had a moment within that holy of holies with the divine is, you find that it is absolute love, the potential. But we have free will to do with it what we will, okay? So again, if you are in the fear mode and it's something from the past, you know, then, then it's time to look within, to connect, connect with the divine is. Do the spiritual journey. Do the spiritual journey. And um, I can tell you it is well worth it in the end because it is... You know, it's like, like uh, the Bible says, you have to have the rebirth. You have to have the water birth. You have to be born in the physicality and then also in the spirit, okay? And being born in the spirit is awakening to the divine, is to that love aspect. And once you have that love aspect, again, you cannot hate anyone. This stuff goes and you are remaining in a core of peace. 
no matter what is taking place, okay, you don't uh, get drug out into these fear mode dramas any longer. They are things of the past, okay? So it behooves one to find that place, make that spiritual journey to the heart center to find out what you are and what you're not. Okay, it's a great journey. And the whole message that Christ was here teaching, Yeshua ben Joseph, when he came, the whole thing he was teaching was all the law hang on love. That's it. Simple message. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you and come from a place of love. Okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Very simple. The whole of his message. Okay? And people, of course, want to try to complicate it and make it into something other than what he came to teach was just love. Love one another, okay? Do the right thing. Care about each other. That's it. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light, and we'll see you online.